Hey, mama, what's up? Did you switch my service from Verizon to T-Mobile? Yep. T-Mobile has the only nationwide 5G. Well, Mr. Know-It-All, let's see if you right about that. Mama. Ma hey, mama, I'm working. It works at the pie shop. T-Mobile's 5G works inside and out. Hey, what you need, mama? I'm trying to watch the game with my boys. It works in the park. Oh, OK. <sighs> Mama? It works at the aquarium. In the parking garage. At the beach. In the elevator. It works in the movie theater, too. Oh, shush yourself. I'm talking to my baby. You're driving me crazy. I was just calling you to say thank you, baby. I love you. I love you, too, Mama. Yes, Mama. It works in the kitchen. Hell, Mama. Mama? 5G, it works in the club. Who are you in the club with? Hi friends, we are here at the beautiful Biscaya Museum and Gardens and we are just about to get started for class tonight and I'm going to be leading a little bit of yoga and some meditation all centered on the theme of gratitude and we get to just drink in practice in this beautiful, beautiful space in our home city, Miami and I can't wait to drop in with you. So it's not too late to join. We're going live in four, three, two, one one swipe up and I'll see you there all right thank you <laughs> happy Thursday everybody welcome to practice my name is Julianne and I am so excited to be here with you all and I'm here with wow so flow uh, which is an event that's being produced by Mind Body Social. And if you don't know, it takes a village to put events like this together. So before we get moving, before we drop in for practice, I have some sponsors that I wanna thank. Uh, so first off, thank you to T-Mobile because this is sponsored by them alongside Publix, Body Armor, Baptist, Michelob Ultra, Florida Blue, which is my insurance provider. <laughs> Deliver Lean and Vizcaya. And so thank you to our partners for making this possible. Uh, you know, if anything has become more clear than ever in 2020, it's that the power of community is so real and so needed in times of great and massive change uh, to be of support for one another. And so that's what this is about. Um, and so thank you for being here because that includes you. Without you dropping in today for practice, it doesn't happen. Uh, we only get to do this stuff because there are people that want to practice to come back to mind, body, spirit. Uh, so thank you. And now let me give you a rundown of what we'll be doing today. We're going to move through about 20, 25 minutes of some really gentle yoga movement to warm up the body, to sort of move through anything that we might have collected throughout our day or throughout the week, which in 2020 can be a lot. And then we'll take a seat and we'll meditate for a bit of time together. And if for any reason you're nervous about that, if the idea of meditation sounds intimidating, uh, I promise to be there with you every step of the way. And, and I'll create as much support as I can offer. And then consider that your experience is yours and it's meant to be felt by you however it is felt. And so um, you'll want just a yoga mat and one blanket for when we sit today. And if you don't have a blanket, a really fluffy beach towel works just fine. And so, Let's get started in a seat. And you can sit however feels most comfortable for you right now. And go ahead and take a big roll of your shoulders up towards the ears and then down the back body. And gently close your eyes. And 
before we do anything else, let the body simply land in stillness. Become aware of your breath. Noticing your inhale and your exhale at its most natural rhythm. And simply allow your physical body to land. Let your awareness rest in your home made of skin and bone. We'll take three big breaths together. Take an inhale. Open up your mouth, big exhale. Again, breath in. Open up your mouth, big sigh out. Once more, fill up. Audible sigh out. Ha. Ah. And gently blink open the eyes. And we'll get started with some easy shoulder rolls. So bring your fingertips to the tops of your shoulders, elbows nice and wide, and we'll just make big circles in any direction that feels good in your body today. And so you move this as fast or as slow as feels good in your body, make it luxurious. And then go ahead and reverse. And as you smooth out the movement in the shoulder joints, smooth out the breath also. So you're just starting to link the body with the breath, breath with the mind, mind with spirit. And use your next breath in to reach your arms all the way up over your head. And then as you exhale, gently release your right fingertips down towards the ground. Take your left hand to your right ear and then gently drop your left shoulder and left ear towards the ground. And take an easy breath in. And an easy breath out. And then inhale, reach back up through center, grow tall through the side body. And as you exhale, take your left fingertips down, right hand to your left ear, and then allow the right shoulder and right ear to melt. And then enjoy the sensation that runs along the outside of your neck on the left side. One more breath in. Breath out. Inhale, reach back up through center. And as you exhale, we'll make our way to hands and knees. So stack your shoulders right on top of the wrists, hips right over your knees. And as you inhale, let the belly hang low. Open up your chin and your chest. As you exhale, press the ground away from you, round and curl. And then again, breathe in, let the belly hang low, spread your collarbones open. Exhale, round through your spine. And then again, big spacious breath in as you open up your heart. Big spacious breath out. Two more like that. Soften the elbows as you lift your heart. Navel center to spine as you empty the breath. Once more, breathe in. Heart soft. Breathe out, round and curl. And then find a neutral spine. Tail back, crown of your head forward. And we'll start to draw big circles with the belly button. 
like if you had a pencil dangling from the belly button, you would be drawing circles that gradually grew bigger on your mat. And so slide your hips all the way to the heels, allow the shoulders to move past the fingertips. And then maybe you invite in a little more undulation in the spine and the neck. You can soften your eyes. And then reverse directions. I always think of a dear friend of mine, Erin Ward, when I move through this. She describes it as though you're trying to scoop out the sort of last bits of almond butter in the jar. And so if that allows for kind of a yummy image in your mind, go ahead and create that with your body. And then go ahead and pause again at center. Bring your knees together to touch. Swivel your right foot off of your mat to the right side. And then reach your left foot back. You'll glue the pinky edge side parallel to the bottom edge. And then peel your left arm up and open. And then reach your left arm up and over your head. Big stretch through your left lung. And all we'll do is let this arm sort of fall in front of you as though you're drawing really big paint strokes. And again, move at a rhythm that feels good in your body. And that feels good in harmony with your breath. And then go ahead and reverse the circles. Just take it in the opposite way. And then slowly collect back at center, knees together to touch. Right foot comes back to neutral. Swivel your left foot this time off of your mat. Go ahead and walk your right foot back so the toes turn towards the right side of your mat. Reach your right arm up. And again, take your right arm over your head. So bicep right by the ear and press actively into the outer edge of your back foot to really get that stretch through the right lung and then start to draw big paint strokes with your fingertips. And as though you could take up the full span of your wings, really create brightness through the fingertips all the way across the collarbones from the center of your heart. And then go ahead and reverse. Move again at a rhythm that feels good with your breath. Let it be intentional and mindful. And take one more breath in. And as you exhale, bring your right hand back down to your mat and bring both knees back underneath your hips. Go ahead and tuck your toes under and then lift your hips. Find downward facing dog. And in your down dog, start to pedal out your feet. You'll just drive one heel to the ground as you bend the opposite knee. And as you do this, bring your awareness to the backs of your Achilles tendon, the fleshy parts of your calves, the meaty muscles of your hamstrings. And then if it feels good, give yourself a little bit of a shake in the hips so you start to work into the glutes and the obliques. And then give your ears a little shake from side to side too. So dissolve any tension at the shoulders or behind the heart. And then settle into stillness. So feet hips width distance apart. Soften your heels towards your mat. Lift your sits bones upwards towards the sky. As you actively press your palms into the ground, create space at the tops of your shoulders, and then bring some tenderness behind your heart as though it could melt like butter. 
and take a breath in. And take a breath out. Inhale, lift your right leg up. And keep your hips squared as you lift through your right heel. And then squeeze your right glute gently to lift your right toes just an inch higher. As you exhale, wrap your right knee in towards your chest and gently step forward, place your left knee down to the ground. And then reach your arms up, Anjani Asana. So as we find a low lunge, bring your awareness to your inner thighs and gently draw them in towards each other. It's gonna feel like you're suctioning it, your thigh bones into the socket. And then glide a few inches deeper into your front knee and really relish in the sensation of your left hip opening. Now you'll grab your left wrist, reach it up towards the ceiling or sky, depending on where you're practicing, and then take it over and across to the right. And take a breath in. Take a breath out. Inhale, come up through center. Both hands to frame your front foot. Slide your sits bones back. Flex your front toes and then draw your collarbones forward. With a long spine, fold your belly over your right thigh. And if you actively press your right heel down into the ground, you'll welcome just a little more sensation in the back of your right leg. And so take a breath in. Take a breath out. And then bend back into your front knee. Root your palms, step back, downward facing dog. Reset. And this time inhale, lift your left leg. Again, left hip stays square. So all that means is if your left foot is flexed, dial your left pinky toe to face your mat. Soften your right heel towards the ground and then lift your left heel an inch higher. Exhale, knee into your nose, round through the upper spine and gently step your left foot forward. Place your right knee to your mat and then reach up, Anjani Asana. So again, inner thighs gently draw in towards each other and then find more depth in your front knee. Create a lift through the sides of your waist, heart open. And then grab your right wrist with your left hand, take it up and over and across towards the left. Take a spacious breath in and a spacious breath out. Inhale, come up through center. Both hands to frame your front foot, slide your sits bones back, take a half split. So as you straighten through your left leg, flex your left toes, pull the center of your heart forward. And then keep your spine long as you take a subtle hold over your front thigh. And you only go as far as you can really and let sensation be your guide and if you want more sensation you press your left heel down with even pressure breath in breath out bend back into your front knee root your palms step back downward facing dog Inhale, shift forward into a high plank. So standard issue push-up position, I promise we won't hold here for long. Gently press the ground away from you to broaden through your back body and pull your navel center to spine. Take a breath in as you shift forward to the tips of your toes. And as you exhale, lower all the way down to your belly. And we'll take a soft baby cobra. So lift your heart about six inches away from your mat. And as you exhale, soften and release. Again, inhale, baby cobra, lift your heart. Exhale, release. And then once again, inhale, baby cobra. This time you'll pause. Keep your heart lifted and float your palms just an inch away from the floor. Wrap your elbow tips in towards the spine and then lift your heart a little higher. As we step into a meditation of gratitude today, 
we'll do a lot of work to get centered in the heart space because that's where gratitude is born. So feel right the space both in front and behind your heart right now for two. And then one, gently release down. Press into your palms this time. Find an upward facing dog. Wrap your upper arm bones down and back as you lengthen through the back of your neck. As you exhale, downward facing dog. Take a breath in. Take a breath out. Walk your feet forward towards the top of your mat. And arrive in ragdoll. So feet are gonna be right underneath the hips. Grab opposite elbows and release your ears. And then with soft knees, gently sway left and right, relieving any tension at the low back, any tension behind the heart, any holding at the shoulders or the neck. And then release your fingertips towards the floor. Inhale, halfway lift. Bring a big bend to your right knee. Place your right hand down right underneath your face and then reach your left arm up and open. And as you open to this easy twist, inhale, draw your heart forward. Exhale, engage the obliques and twist two degrees deeper. One more like that. Inhale to lengthen. Exhale, twist. Use your inhale to unwind, move through center. Big bend to your left knee this time as you root your left palm down, peel your right arm open. Inhale to lengthen. Exhale, belly button back as you twist. Once again, breath in, breath out. Inhale, come through center, long spine. As you exhale, interlace your hands at your low back and then bow your chest forward. Reach your knuckles away from you so it feels as though your shoulders are pulling away from your ears. And then make your heart again a little softer so that your chest melts towards your thighs. And take one more breath in. Full breath out. Release your fingertips towards the ground. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, rise all the way up to stand. Reach up tall, mountain pose. As you exhale, palms to heart center. Take a soft breath in. And a really easy exhale out. Release your hands. So we're going to get set up now to sit in meditation. So what I'd like for you to do is get your blanket or towel and you'll fold it into a square and then one more time so that it looks like a long rectangle. And we're going to place this at the back of your mat or one side of the mat, depending on how you're sitting. And then you'll come to take a seat on the blanket. So what we're looking for is to just invite in a little bit of lift in the hips. So that the hips are slightly above the knees. And if you find that this position feels uncomfortable to hold um, with like one foot in front of the other in an easy seat. You're welcome to take a hero's pose on blocks or you're welcome to lay down for this practice too if that feels like it'll be the most uh, nourishing way for you to receive this. And before we get started, um, you know, the theme of this practice is gratitude and I believe that gratitude is what turns the ordinary and mundane moments into extraordinary. And it's what takes 
moments of fear and turns it into opportunities to practice courage. And so it's this practice that can shift the way in which we perceive each and every moment, which during this year, I believe is more important than ever. You know, the big question is, can we find gratitude even amidst all, all of the crazy that is happening and that continues to happen? How do we anchor into being thankful in those moments? And, and I think the answer is that you start simple. Acknowledge all the little things and then acknowledge all the big things. And all of those things will compound because that's what gratitude does. And it's one of those practices that when you start looking for things to be grateful for, more things to be grateful for will happen. So that's my spiel. We're gonna get started in this practice and we'll start with a little bit of breath work and then we'll sit for about 10, 15 minutes together so go ahead and set up your seat. And in order to do that, I'm gonna have you take your hands today and actually reach around and feel for the fleshy part of your butt cheeks. And then spread the butt cheeks apart so that it feels like your seat is widening. And then it'll feel like your sitting bones are now really anchored on top of your blanket or towel. And again, I have my feet just one in front of the other in an easy position, but if this doesn't feel good on your ankles or knees, change the position. Now, belly button is gonna gently draw towards the spine and then up and underneath the ribs. It's gonna feel as though your abdominals just got a little longer. It will also feel slightly more effortful to keep the length in your spine. And once again, take the ears up towards the shoulders and then down the back body as though your shoulder blades could melt. And let's just turn the palms up today, actually in a gesture of receival. And then lengthen the back of your neck. Slightly draw the bridge of your nose back. And then you'll gently close your eyes. And for a moment, just land. Let your physical body settle into stillness. And right away there might be an urgency to fidget or to scratch an itch or to move a hair off of your face. And I encourage you to stay in your stillness. To consider that those sensations will pass away. So we bring the body to stillness first so that we pave the path for the mind to also still. And that doesn't mean that your thoughts won't wander as we sit together today. In fact, I'm willing to bet that your thought at some point, your mind will wander and that's okay, it's a part of the practice. And so when that happens, simply anchor back in and I will create as much support as I can along the way for you to do that. So take all of your awareness and 
collect it on your breath. And without changing a thing about your inhale or your exhale just yet, simply creates an intimacy with the tone and the texture of your breath. Notice the density of it. The speed and space of it. Maybe even the sound of it. And now start to slow the breath down. Allow it to take up a bit more room inside of your physical body. And then smooth out the edges of your breath too. So that as you add in some depth and intention to your inhale and your exhale, you invite in Lots of fluidity and ease and grace into the transitions between. And we'll slow the breath down to a four count. So inhale for four, three, two, one, exhale, four, three, two, one. Inhale again, four, three, two, one. Exhale, four, three, two, one. Inhale, four, three, two, one, exhale, four, three, two, one, inhale, four, three, two, one, exhale, four, three, two, one, inhale into the bowl of your belly, and then inhale into the sides of your ribs. Inhale all the way up to your heart and your throat. Exhale from the belly, the lungs, the chest. Again, inhale that first third of your diaphragm. And then inhale all the way into the lungs. And then inhale, feel your chest and collarbones rise. Exhale from the bottom all the way to the top. And again, breath into the bowl of the belly. Breath into the sides of the lungs. Breath in all the way up to the heart. Exhale, belly, lungs chest. Once again, inhale one third of the way. Inhale two thirds of the way. Three thirds of the way. Exhale from the bottom all the way to the top. Again, inhale one third. Inhale two thirds. Inhale, three thirds. Exhale, bottom to the top. And we'll take about three more rounds on your own. 
utilizing the full space of the diaphragm. And keeping the breath smooth, even as you sort of divvy it up into three parts. After your third round, allow your breath to return to a really natural, organic rhythm. One that requires no attention or effort. And keep your awareness resting on your breath. And I think our breath is a great place to start our practice of gratitude. On average, we take about 20,000 breaths a day, be it conscious or unconscious. And in so many ways, 2020 has reminded us of the preciousness of our ability to breathe. To be able to receive air in our lungs and then the ability to let it go. We take 20,000 breaths a day. How many of those are you grateful for? Now bring your awareness to the muscles of your face. And bring in some softness. Relax your temples, your eyebrows, the space between your eyelids. Unclench your jaw and let your tongue fall into the lower palate of your mouth. And if it feels good to do so, invite in a soft smile. And then relax the skin behind your neck. Allow your traps to soften. Shoulder blades to melt. Chest to stay open. And then invite in a sense of warmth and light to the center of your heart.
soften your palms. And then if you can soften them some more, soften them some more. And in that softening, maybe you start to feel a little bit of tingling in the hands. Let that sensation of tingling simply be a reminder of your aliveness in the now. And then soften your belly. So there's no holding or tension at the abdomen. Instead, you let the belly be really soft, spacious even. And then let the skin at your hip creases melt. Let the melting of your hip creases allow your sits bones to get a little heavier. So you could ground and root a little deeper. your awareness to your feet. Noticing maybe where they make contact with your mat or your blanket. And then soften the soles of your feet. And in that softening, maybe you notice again a little tingling. And then if right now your mind has wandered or drifted, it's okay, bring it back. by anchoring into the felt sense of your experience. So again, that might look like a subtle tingling in the hands or feet. Or for some of us, it might feel like a subtle ache from sitting for a prolonged period of time in stillness. And if that ache is coming up, I encourage you again to stay in your stillness for as long as you can. And then let these sensations, be it the subtle tingling or the subtle ache, be a reminder of our capacity to feel Let it lead you to gratitude for having a body that is able to sit, that is able to sense each part that makes the whole. Feel the temperature of the room against your skin, or if you're outside, notice the breeze brushing against you. No 
notice any sounds present in your environment. It could be the sound of waves gently crashing behind you. Or maybe it's more subtle and it's just the kind of constant hum of your apartment. Notice any smells present. be the hint of a bay, and the sort of ocean-like saltiness that comes with it. Or maybe it's the aroma of food being prepared by a loved one in your home. And then let all of these senses again lead you to gratitude. To the ability to feel, to touch, to hear, to smell. And then consider that these are things we can be grateful for in each and every moment, no matter what arises. So again, in the practice of gratitude, I invite you to start simple, especially when it feels challenging to find things to be grateful for. Start with your simple yet incredible capacity to breathe. and then your ability to feel and sense. Your ability to think and to create. Because gratitude is what shifts moments of fear into opportunities to practice courage. Right? It shifts the narrative of I lost my job to I have the opportunity to finally do what my heart has called for all along. So it changes, uh, I have to work from home to I have all this time to spend with the ones I love the most. It's what shifts being put in time out. to a really beautiful pause. It's 
and an invitation into more intimacy with yourself. To return to all that exists underneath all of the layers at the center of the center of the center. So let your awareness rest at your heart space. And in this moment, call to your heart one thing you are grateful for. And then really relish in the sensation of that. Create some intimacy with it. And then call into your heart one person you are grateful for. Again, get to know that sweet feeling of gratitude, the warmth of it. And try on sending that warmth out to that person and consider that their gratitude can be felt. we'll close by calling in gratitude for this space and for each and every one of us that has dropped in right now. Because it's this work, each of us individually choosing to shift into gratitude that shifts the collective into gratitude. And that will change our world. And so gently draw your palms together to touch. Softly bow your chin towards your chest. And then go ahead and begin to rub your palms together. You'll generate just a little bit of heat. And then take the warmth of your palms and place them over your eyes. And then take your time to slowly release your palms. To lift your chin and gently blink open your eyes. <sighs> Thank you for being here. Um, I land in so much gratitude for the opportunity to share in time and practice. Um, I really believe that more than ever before it is so, so, so uh, powerful when we do. Um, I hope that, I hope that it served you and that, um, that hopefully you can return to this practice and it will be of support as we continue to navigate this wild year. Uh, and, and again, I really want to land that, uh, it is, it's, it is gratitude always that shifts 
shifts moments of fear into moments of courage. And that is the big call for us in 2020, to live and to practice courage every opportunity that we get. Um, so again, thank you for being here. And before I wrap up, I'm gonna just thank the people who made this possible one more time, because again, it takes a village and there are so many hands that go into making something like this happen. Um, so again, wow, so flow. Thank you for having me a part of this. Thank you, Mind Body Social for putting this on. Um, thank you to, I don't wanna forget anyone, T-Mobile, Publix, Body Armor, Baptist, Michelob Ultra, Florida Blue, Deliver Lean, and Vizcaya, our beautiful, beautiful space for practice uh, tonight. Please come visit here. Uh, I think that's also been the gift of 2020. It's been, you know, re-sparking our joy and delight of the outdoors and beautiful spaces. And in Miami, we're so lucky to have this gem here. Uh, that was my first thought walking in today. Whoa, it's been a minute and I can't wait to come back again. So I hope that you'll, you'll venture here and um, drink in the beauty and maybe you'll sit right here and meditate also. Um, other than that, again, my name is Julianne. You can find me on Instagram at where.your.hope.lives um, and you can always send any questions uh, my way and I'd love to connect with you. So other than that, I hope to see you on your mat soon and be well. <laughs>